He's also a great human being, Stevie. He plays his heart out every night. You look at him and you know that he's just loving being there, making music, you know? Actually, I feel like I won the lottery by playing with this band. It's right. an unbelievable experience, yeah. Oh, okay. That should do it, you know what I mean? The sound he gets for the amount he plays is amazing, really. Much better than I could have done in the time. Best hall in the world for concerts. Great view, great sound, fantastic lighting and marvellous performance. Are we done already? Yes, yes. We're just changing the lighting a little bit. Yeah. Just checking the spare guitar. Well, it's all been a bit of a rush today. There's different people on. Here at the lovely Royal Albert Hall. I first met Robert in 1968, I think, and he's a fantastic chap who has a fantastic musical sense and a strange sort of vulnerability in everything he does that is very, very attractive. I don't do gigs. I haven't done gigs for 30 years. I can't sort of handle it um, somehow. Well, I thought, I'm not going to be nervous. I can't be bothered. What's the point, you know? But it turns out, obviously, was because I had a slight shaky feeling which gave me a slightly old-fashioned Salvation Army band sound on the corner, which is all right, but I hadn't quite meant that. Last time I played at Albert Hall was about 1969, when I was a drummer. And then, it was very different, I went out the back for a fag, and the commissioner wouldn't let me back in. I said, I'm playing here. He said, look, Sam, we only have proper music in here. And I said, well, not tonight, <laughs> we're on. Dave's a terrific guitar player because he's got a sense of the whole piece of music, not just like me and my axe. Going straight into On an Island. Let's go to church. 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 There was so much family involved in, in the making of the record and in David and Polly's life making this record that we sort of got, sort of felt invited into their family. <laughs> it's been fantastic. It's been very much um, family-esque. Uh, it's great because a lot of us have worked together for coming up for 20 years now. Hey, Stanley! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. It's so much fun, you know, there's no responsibility on us at all. It's just purely fun. We get to sing a couple of songs, have a really good time, and it's all the people are nice, man. He doesn't have a sourpuss in the bunch. Uh, yeah, you can tell a lot about a man by who he surrounds himself with. Yeah. yeah. Every crew member, they've all got the same attitude. Let's get the job done, let's get it done the best way we can and have the best time we can. And that's exactly our attitude too. Yeah. Up to Lake Schlerschen. We've gone for a very kind of um, health and efficiency, nudist sort of style for our backstage accommodation. And here comes John Karen, who's about to take his clothes off. <laughs> There'll be plenty of smoke, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, um, it's very hot. It's Clam Castle, which is somewhere in Austria on the Danube. It's a very beautiful part of the world. It's a mystery why we're here, but this is what we do. We're musicians, we, we turn up and play. I don't mind it at all. It's just wonderful, really. Winter is quite long enough. It's been pretty uncomfortable. Uh, it's been uh, 
It's been okay. I mean, we didn't get much of a sound check time, but uh, uh, it should be okay. Tonight, being, yeah. It's really setting up at the desk after all the indoor stuff we've done. Uh, you know, the mixes will be different from outdoors, so you, it's a different uh, criteria, really. But you know, as we go through it, I'll just keep updating the desk, and it'll be fine. He said, <coughs> "It'll be great." Smoke. Lots of smoke. Lots of smoke. Smoke. Well, I'm going to do a song, I think, I believe, if I'm brave enough, called Dark Globe, which is um, from Sid Barrett's uh, first solo album, The Madcap Laughs, which I worked on at the time. Tonight is uh, my first performance since Sid died. Mm, just a little bit of a tribute, I suppose you could say. That's you, I take it. What? That's you, I take it. No, that's you, guy. You're going to do that. <laughs> you have been practicing, haven't you, Guy? I haven't practiced it yet. Get the it's a song that I've never sung in my life or rehearsed in my life. <laughs> I don't intend to. I'll do my first rehearsal tonight. 